yeah, yeah. And I can't help my baby. I don't know when I don't know why. What they want. Oh, my. I mean, he did he ever pay Lisa Stanfield for that sample? Been around the world and I, yeah, yeah. And we been player hated. I don't know when I don't know why. <laughs> can't nobody take my shine. Can't nobody hold me down. You know, he was holding bras down allegedly, but, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Puff Daddy Combs. Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. <laughs> that dude, Loose Cannon, is funny as hell. He said he seen Puffy with Carl Winslow. Sweetie! Sweet! <laughs> Loose Cannon calling grown man Sweetie. <laughs> Sugar Plum. Come on, Popsicle Toes. Oh, my God. Puff Daddy Combs has gone down. Oh, Lord. I, can we do? Can we skip the pause thing for one video? Yeah, I seen Dame Dash T fell out. But Dame Dash, once again, he's superior to 50 Cent. 50 Cent is a slave. 50 Cent had to get rich by white Jewish men pushing him down your throats. Dame Dash is independent-minded. And uh, he will be a billionaire uh, one day. Or at least his children will be. Know, uh, know what you're talking about. You people never do. Hit the like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Puffy Combs was finally arrested. You know, I, I, I made a video about... Um, Maybe a week ago, week, week and a half ago. And I said Puffy would be arrested around September 13th. Well, they got him a little bit later. But uh, they took him down in New York City. And a few days before they arrested him, <clears throat> a video surfaced. Puffy's walking around New York. He was uh, showing all his teeth with G-Dep. And apparently he was making his last rounds around New York City because he knew he was about to get arrested or whatever case. And um, Puff Daddy Combs, uh, the chickens have come home to roost without question. And um, there is an agenda against him. Now, he is guilty of certain things, but not all these things. He's certainly not the face of trafficking, but when you're a black man and they have an agenda against you, they will make you the face of things you're not the face of. They try to make OJ the face of spousal abuse. They try to make Michael Jordan the face of gambling. They always do this with the black man. If somebody's guilty, fine, but don't add on to it. But no, no, no. These people have no etiquette. They're Luciferians. But Puffy is a Luciferian as well. So your own, you know what? They're not your kind, but they are your kind. Because this is his Negro wake-up call. Oh, he's, oh, where is Paul Mooney? Homie, homie, homie. If you skin and you grin, nigga, you win. The white man is undefeated when it comes to you niggas. But um, this is his wake-up call. When are they going to get, well, Oprah sort of got hers a few years ago. Know your history, but I, I can't wait till Oprah gets up out of here. Yeah, they got to get that brought up out of here. Gail King, another carpet muncher. But um, Puff Daddy Combs, he's gone down <laughs> again. And um, I don't believe he had nothing to do with Tupac Shakur's demise. I don't believe that. A lot of you people are just delusional groupies. Um, the things Gene Deal has said, I believe, I believe most of them. Some of them, he is putting a little extra on it because Puffy treated him very poorly and he treated people very poorly for years that Gene Deal knows about. So Gene Deal, what he's saying is accurate, but some of the things he's putting a little extra on it because it's kind of like F Puffy, which I understand. But don't add some. But once again, if somebody's wrong, okay, but don't add on to it things that did not happen. Now, I believe Gene Deal. And, and matter of fact, I'm not taking no disrespect towards Gene Deal. If you say some nonsense about Gene Deal in the comments, I'm blocking you. Because Gene Deal is a truth teller. He's necessary. He's not a clown like Choke No Joke. Am I, come on, Dame. Come on, Dame. Am I lying? Come on. Am I lying? Come on, Gene Squill. Come on, Gene. Come on, Gene. You're supposed to come on my show, Gene. Come on, Gene. Am I lying? Jay-Z broke my jaw. Come on, man. <laughs> Shiggy Choke No Joke. This this dude is still <laughs> this still choke no joke is an embarrassment. He, he's he's a talented videographer, I guess. Have you heard choke no joke rap? Jesus Christ, he make Puffy sound like Rock Kim in the eighties. Oh, am I lying? Am I lying? <laughs> but Puffy's arrested. I really think that you know, there's there's nothing really to add to this. People are jumping on a bandwagon. Did he do certain things to certain women? Yeah. Did he do certain things to certain people contractually? Yeah. Is he the face of trafficking? No. Did he traffic women? I don't believe so. 
But guess what? I told you people this a long time ago. I told you about a year ago, some things are going to come out about Arby Graham, and um, they have, and there's more things to come. I, and, and once again, understand this. One day, there will be a surviving Arby documentary. There will be. And also, and I'm waiting for this, and it's going to come soon. They're trying hard as hell to stop it. Jimmy Iovine had allegations against him. All of a sudden, you don't hear about him. But Eminem... Eminem is going to be the next one that gets exposed. I guarantee you this. Just wait. Just just wait. Eminem. He's he going to be running to Antigua. He's going to, wherever the hell Russell Simmons is. Okay? It's coming soon. Africa Bambada. Africa Bambada. The hammer is coming down on him too. I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid the pauses. Now Bambada, he might off himself or he might just uh, you know, have some sort of uh, demise, but uh, it, the hammer's coming down. The entertainment business is Babylon, America's Babylon. But the entertainment business in 2024 clearly there's a shift happening, and the it, 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 the earth is cleansing its, itself, and everything is the intricate design of the Most High, and that's undeniable, and you can't do nothing about that. The unkept shall be removed. The unrighteous, those who have no desire to truly be righteous. And let me say this about Puff Daddy Combs. One thing about Puff Daddy Combs, he's always sent out mixed messages. He's always delivered mixed messages. What do I mean? Okay, Puffy is clearly somebody, he wants to have a superiority over you. He has a superiority complex. He wants to be over everybody. But then... He'll say, oh, you know, we, we're, you know, it's love. It's all about love and, and positive. But you can't talk to me in a certain way. You can't do this in a certain way. I have to be, th great. He always sends out a mixed message. Always. Can't stop, won't stop. Well, now you should have stopped. He always sends out a mixed message. He's above you. He's better than you. You're not on his level. But then if you get hot, if you're a rapper who gets hot, all of a sudden, you a black king. <clears throat> Jay-Z does this. 50 Cent does this. They're all the same person. They're all users and abusers. If you get hot enough, then they want to acknowledge you. But then as soon as you fall off or you get arrested, they, they, they run for the hills. But hey, now people have ran from Puffy. So now, you know, you're getting a receipt. You're getting your own medicine. There's no telling what he did to Carl Winslow. But, uh... Oh God, P Puffy and P that's uh, Puffy and Carl Winslow. That's like a that's like a, a hyena banging a a, a water buffalo. <laughs> Good Lord! Oh my God! Please tell me, you know, I, Family Matters. I never really liked that show that much. I mean, there was a point where like Urkel's like thirty five years old, still wearing the suspenders. It's like okay, they even on that show they had to change the wife. When it comes to a black show, why do they always take the dark skinned wife and replace her with a light skinned woman? Like, come on, man. That colorism never ends. <laughs> never ends. Now, I will say, at least Puffy had Kim, pa Kim Porter. She was, she was black as hell. But, uh, you know, she was damn near Don Cheadle. But, uh, they, you know, there's stories about th those two were getting in <laughs> brawls and fist fights. And, you know, they, they was playing fight night champion for real. But um, did, did you notice Jennifer Lopez got a new nose right around the time she started dating Puffy? Did you notice that? <laughs> and LL Cool J, the GOAT. Oh, LL. LL got a new nose too, but whatever. But uh, Puffy, he's always sent out mixed messages. Even his first album, No Way Out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no Way Out, huh? There is one way out, but he, he's too much of a narcissist to take that route. But even No Way Out, Puff Daddy and the family. Oh, we have families, a family, a family. Great. But then you fast forward and the family is broke, deceased, has no publishing, or lost their mind. So it ain't about Puff Daddy and the family. It's just about Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy and the family. Puff Daddy and the family. But when they go on tour, you Negroes is my backup dancers. You warm, you warm up the stage for me. He's always sent out mixed messages. Just like Kanye West. Just like a lot of these people. Just like Jay-Z. What? Jay oh, Lord. I, oh, man. I'm going to have to start a series about um the, 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 the psychosis of Jay-Z. He's the king of mixed messages. But Puffy... You know, as I record this, he was arrested. He'd probably get bailed out, you know, the next day or the next few days. He ain't going to be in there. And, and you know, he, he's in with them people. See, right now they're trying to spank him. But I, I truly believe, I truly believe others will go down. 
Let's avoid the pause again. And Puffy will not serve any major jail time. Maybe he'll be in there, the Lindsay Lohan, he'll be in there for about three minutes. Okay, when, when they finally do the, a trial or whatever, or whatever. He ain't going to be in there. He's still with them people. They they alerted him. Yeah, we're going to come get you uh, this week. You yeah, go to New York, go to, uh, make, make Enes uh, walk for cheesecake again. And, um, yeah, let's, let's go back to daddy's studio. Uh, go, go to, uh, go to, um, oh, look, where's Puffy really from? Not Hall. He's not from Harlem. Uh, not Long Island. Uh, where, where's Puffy really from? Damn. Um, Mount Vernon. Yeah. Go to Mount Vernon. You can go visit a uh, heavy D's, uh, nephews and maybe you can see a uh, Pete Rock and CL smooth or whoever. Yeah. And we coming to get you. So uh, he's still in, in with them people. This is just a public, you know, humiliation ritual. They're just spanking him in public the same way he spanked Meek Mill. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I think this video is finished. Hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to eat off this carcass. I've done a wonderful job once again, if I must say so myself. Um, follow my other channels, XDN Sports, XDN Gaming TV, XDN Music, um, my Rumble page. Everything's in the description of this video. Donate to the Cash App if you want to support this channel, support the content. And uh, I'm up out of here.